Hi, I hope you are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I thought I would just share some of the podcasts that I am obsessed. Oops. <laughs> just emptying out all the shit from my phone case. I keep like all my like gym card and my go card, which is for public transport, in my phone and it gets so bulky. Um, <laughs> but I thought I would chat about my favorite podcasts. If you don't already know, I'm obsessed with podcasts. I did a whole single episode on my absolute favorite, which is the Life Coach School podcast by my girl, Brooke Casillo. <laughs> she is an amazing life coach and weight coach from California. Um, I hope to meet her one day sometime soon. Um, but I just thought I'd share some of the others I've been loving. This is essentially like I'm just going through what's in my podcast app. Um, if you haven't listened to podcasts before, they like if you have an iPhone like me, this free app just comes with your phone. So you already have a podcast app. To find them, you just search here at the top, type it in, subscribe. So easy to get on the podcast train. Um, I found podcasts because I was sick of listening to the radio. I found them in 2013 um, and have been obsessed ever since. It's basically just an amazing radio show that doesn't have all the producers and all of those middlemen stopping things from being completely amazing. And I love especially long form podcasts like that are like an hour long. So, so, so good. So there's a few different ones I'm going to chat about. I'm really like I haven't prepared for this any more than just going into my um podcast app and I'm just gonna chat to you about some of the ones I have been loving lately so I should delete that one okay so the first is or I'll go from the bottom the life coach school podcast by Brooke Castillo I've already done a whole episode episode <laughs> a whole YouTube video on why I love that podcast so much my favorite episodes so I will link that below I'm not going to talk about it all again except saying please watch that video. I love like if I had to only listen to one podcast for the rest of my life um, which is a pretty big statement it would be this podcast the Life Coach School podcast with Brooke Castillo. The second one I want to talk about just going up the list is a School of Greatness with Lewis Howes. Um, the name is a little corny, but he talks to a lot of different successful people or interviews them. So sometimes they're really big celebrities. Other times they're people you've never heard about that are successful in whatever industry they're in. So this isn't just for people who have their own business or who want to. Um, it's people who are successful in their profession people who have created their own thing like he really does a good job at getting a really diverse range of guests um he also does if there's shorter episodes um that are like five minutes long where he's just speaking on an idea and for whatever reason I'm not drawn to these as much I really only listen to his longer interviews with people and I try to keep an open mind. I've spoken about this before. When I listen to podcasts, even if they don't sound relevant, I get the best advice from the weirdest sounding podcast episodes. Meaning that like, say if, if I want advice about blogging, I don't just like listen to things about how to blog. And I don't think I have any directly about blogging. I prefer to have get advice from all different industries and because it's all the same principles so it's just really helpful to hear them in different contexts because it really just gets those ideas flowing in a way that I haven't found is possible if you're just 
listening to industry specific advice. So I really recommend listening to things that you're like, "Uh, that probably won't be relevant. Like everything's relevant, basically. That's how I like to approach it. So yeah, he has done a lot of interviews. I think he publishes two or three times a week. So yeah, amazing. I love the like I love the stuff he shares and that he's like this big football guy that talks about gratitude and not in a woo woo way, but um he really yeah, is like a big softy. <laughs> um he was a big he was a footballer. I don't know much about football. I don't know what kind of football he played, but he got injured and then had to figure out what to do with his life and then created um, his business, which is like the podcast and a few other things. Um, And he is really open with everything that he shares and I really appreciate that. And he, yeah, has really good chats. So definitely one to check out. So that was The School of Greatness with Lewis Howes. Another one I love, which I feel like I've probably spoken about quite a bit already, but I'm going to talk about it, is the Tim Ferriss Show. Tim Ferriss is one of my go-to people for advice. Um, And again, he's not in, or he does have a blog. And like, this isn't podcast for bloggers, but I'm just talking about, I, (laughs) what have I even tried to say? A lot of the podcasts I listen to either have a business focus or a personal development focus or both. Um, And he was um, really big in startup, in the startup investing world, but he's taking a break from that. Um, He has a blog and a podcast and he's authored um, like the four hour work week and all those kinds of books. Tools of Titans, which I've already talked about in another video, which is amazing. Um, His, I love him. (laughs) I love the way that he really just breaks things down and especially love that his interviews are very, very long. Um, I don't think he edits his either. So it's similar to what I do with this. And that's where I got the idea because he was saying like to start when he was thinking of how to start his own podcast he was thinking well what's the easiest way to do it and that's to not edit it I don't know if he has someone maybe edit out the um blank sound but I really like it he um recently did an interview with Vince Vaughn this one at the top 243 which I listened to on the way home from work the other night. It was so good. Vince Vaughn, who, you know, from like wedding crashes and stuff, I hadn't realized. And like, I've listened to a lot of actors be interviewed on podcasts and some of them are just so switched on. And I don't know why you'd assume they're not, but you just don't really realize everything that goes on behind being an actor. And they're just talking about essentially how he figured out what to do with his life and um, like how to ignore fear and all that kind of thing. It was really, really insightful. Even if you just check out that episode alone, even if you don't like Vince Vaughn, he's not like a comedian in this. He's having a serious chat and it was so good. The next one I want to chat about is my Leak Teal's podcast. This used to be called My Taught You, um, but she changed the name. She is based in Atlanta and I just love, like, <laughs> she just shares, like, just records, like, off the cuff. You just hear her drinking her drink and doing whatever, which I love. And is another thing that inspired me not to edit these videos because I noticed that all the things I'm drawn to with podcasts, they're long and they're not edited or they don't have much editing. With YouTube videos, I mainly watch vlogs. So I really like just the chatty stuff and that's what I want to create. But she has a lot of amazing episodes. She talks about... um, 
relationship advice, which I don't, I'm not drawn to as much, but she talks a lot about money, a lot about success and achieving goals and essentially just how to create the life that you want. She has her own hair care business called Curlbox, which is for um, African-American women with the, like, my products. Her products wouldn't be much use for me because my hair is dead flat, but for women with the amazing curly hair, she was struggling to find something like products for her hair and then she created Curlbox, which is a subscription box. She created it ages ago. I feel like it was before subscription box things were a thing but she has her own successful business I think she's in her late 30s she just talks straight I love it so much so that's my leak teals podcasts um she started interviewing people too but I especially just love the episodes where it's just her talking um another one which I will only quickly mention but I do find it very inspiring if you have your own business or you want to. I listened to this before I had a blog or anything. <laughs> um I started listening to it when I was just a uni student doing law and finance being like I don't know what I want to do. It's called Entrepreneur on Fire with John Lee Dumas and he does a daily um daily podcast episodes which is another thing that inspired me to do a daily youtube channel but his videos are shorter uh can i speak properly his podcast episodes are shorter they're like half an hour which i know some people love i i like them but i kind of always wish like they'd just gone into a few things a little deeper but my favorite thing about this podcast is that he does income reports which I find incredibly inspiring. Um, I think I'll do a a YouTube video just on my favorite podcasts for um, business and blogging and all of that kind of thing. But I think this should be listened to by everyone. Like he is so transparent and like when he first started, he didn't have any experience with... um, podcasting obviously you don't have any experience when you start but he was like I'm just gonna interview entrepreneurs every day like I'm in my car I want a daily podcast no one is doing a daily podcast I'm gonna make it he's made it he's up to episode 1690 I find it really inspiring he speaks to such a diverse range of people and particularly the income reports and just to see what's possible. And because I've followed him probably since he was less than a year into it and just seen how crazy it's grown and how he's been able to do it in an incredibly lean way um, without taking on much cost, cost, expenses, I find him incredibly inspiring. Another one is Impact Theory with... Tom Bilyeu. He is the co-founder of Quest Nutrition, those nutrition bars that are delicious. And it's not really about, oh my God, it's not really about business so much as, as it is just about success and life in general. Um, but I think all business podcasts, unless they're extremely technical, like how to set up this specific thing. If they're talking about the general principles of business, it all applies to anything you're doing, basically. So I love, like, as I was saying, I listened to all this stuff before I was ever into it and it's what got me into it. So highly recommend, even if you're like, oh, like a lot of them aren't technical, like how-to tutorials. They're more so talking about the bigger principles and failure and success and mindset. It's mainly mindset. And yeah, he also has a YouTube channel. I think most of these have a YouTube channel, but his, like they do the, they have a proper set and everything, which is really good. I love watching. I found him through YouTube and then was like, oh my God, he has a podcast so I can listen to it all the time. So love that one. Two more I want to share. 
The next one, let me see how we're going for time, is I mentioned this in another um, video, but Control Alt Delete with Emma Gannon. She speaks a lot about feminism, but also about, you know, growing up in this age where we are glued to our phones and her experiences and I love her accent she's British that's horrible (laughs) British um and yeah also speaking of Britain I was just googling last night so it's I don't know a week maybe since the um terrorist attack that was at the borough markets and then also the attack at the Ariana Grande concert and it's like it so hit me um I was looking at the you know how they do um those stories about the victims and what their lives were like and the circumstances that led them to being there that night or whenever it happened and the reactions from their families and it actually like I came home to see last night I was like life can just be taken away like I know we know that but um we often act as though it's not a, a reality and a lot of like the ones that really stood out to me um I think there were two Australians around a similar age, like really just similar to me. And I was like, when it's like a, oh, that could be me, like there are no guarantees. If there's been something you've been wanting to do, just do it. Life can just be taken away. And yeah, it really like hit me that, I mean, I've had those hits before but just one of those reminders that life is short and there's no guarantee that we'll have a future beyond this moment essentially so we better make the most of the time we do have yeah I was really like and it's so incredibly sad to hear about the circumstances that of the whole to think like the two different events and um yeah very sad and very confronting to to realize that it could really be any of us so yeah that's just what I've been thinking about lately um yeah she does a lot of great interviews and I mentioned in one of my other pod uh in one of my other videos that I loved, episode 79. And yeah, there's lots of great ones to check out. Um, she also did an interview with Zoella. I love Zoella. And I love hearing interviews with people like that that I normally don't hear. Um, interviews about like their business and their life rather than interviews about like makeup and trends. Like I want to hear the, the real stories. So I love that. The final one is Millennial, whoops, Millennial by Megan Tan. This is an amazing podcast. I binge listened to it when I found it last year. Um, in it, like Megan has just this really amazing journalistic editing style for putting together the podcast episode. So it sounds like you're watching a TV show, if that makes sense. Like the way it's cut together um, is really amazing. Like even just listening to it to listen to how amazing the editing is, is so good. But she just talks about figuring out what, like the whole figuring out what to do with your life, getting your shit together, all the stuff if you're in your 20s like me that comes up that's the kind of stuff she talks about in this podcast so yeah it's amazing highly recommend it I know I've already recommended it to so many people through one of my blog posts and I get so much feedback about how much people love this one um so yeah there's also I just wanted to share one more which I haven't got in here 
sorry, sorry. There's also one more podcast which is called Biz Time with Asia and I wanted to mention I love this podcast and I loved it before I ever met Asia. I did an interview if you want to check it out. Episode 210, The Ups and Downs of Perfectionism with Sam Brown. So um, it is an hour and a half long, by far the longest episode she has on the whole podcast because we just had such an amazing chat and I, yeah, love talking about perfectionism and everything like that and it was so much fun. So if you haven't listened to that, please check it out. I will put a link to all of these podcasts in the description box. Please let me know if there are any podcasts you think I should check out. I think I'll also do one more specifically for people with a business and a blog or that kind of thing. And then one that's just for really personal development. But I just thought it would be fun to go through my list of podcasts and to just chat to you about what I've been listening to. Um, A lot of these podcasts I have listened to for years. Brooke Castillo's I've listened to every episode I think at least three times because I go from one all the way through and then I go back. Um, So yeah I could say a lot more but I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you have and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post a new video every single day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.